All right, I'm about to show you the easiest but cutest swim cover up you have ever seen. I got this idea from Victoria's Secret and I thought there's no reason to pay $50 for that. I know that I can make that. So here's how it's done. I have a much a scaled down version just so I can show you the whole piece here so you can see kind of where we're going with this. But you have the length of your fabric, right? The selvage of your fabric, the, the manufactured finished edges are on the top and the bottom. They're the long edges. These short edges are what was cut off at the fabric store. So you'll have your cut edges here. This should be no smaller than probably two yards. If you're a very petite person, you can probably get away with one and a half yards, but you wanna make sure that this can wrap around your body plus some to cross over in the front. Width-wise, we're gonna use the entire width of the fabric. If you're buying a fabric intended for garments, most likely it's gonna be in the 55 to 60 inch width range, which is perfect because our very first step is going to be to take our fabric and fold it up on itself. This now becomes your hem and your hem is now done. You don't need to stitch a hem, which is really nice on those super, super lightweight fabrics. So you've got that, you've got your top raw edges matched up and you've got your side edges matched up. Now you need to create your straps. So create um, the straps really easily by taking a strip of fabric, roughly one and a half inches wide by 15 inches long. You are going to sew that right sides together, turn the tube out, and now you have a tube of fabric for your straps. Then once your strap is complete, then you are gonna place one end of the strap in the corner, like so, and you are gonna pin that down. And then the other end of the strap, this is a little, <laughs> not to scale, um, the other end of the strap is gonna come down 10 inches from this edge. So pretend that this is 10 inches in length and then you pin your other end of your strap down like so. Then you repeat for the other side and then using, I don't know, quarter inch, half an inch seam allowances, you're gonna come up this short edge. You are gonna stitch three quarters of the way down to here, leave an opening somewhere along this end. And remember, we have our other strap pinned in over here somewhere like so, but leave a little opening like this start your stitching again and then come back down the other side and then you are going to turn the whole thing out through that hole and then top stitch that hole closed so let me show you my finished version i'm going to show you one corner of it let's do the lighter side maybe a little bit easier to see with the dark strap so you can see here that i have come this is the long edge so i have sewn that completely closed there's two layers of fabric there's a seam on top our strap is in the corner and completely enclosed in that stitch that we made. This is 15 inches long, one and a half inches wide, but now it's half of that because we folded it in half. And then you come down 10 inches here and that's where the other end of your strap gets placed. This whole thing got stitched closed. The two um, layers of fabric are stitched closed here. And then our hem, is our folded up fabric. Super, super cool and really easy. Mm -hmm. 